Hey, what's up everyone? Today we are talking about auto farming and V-Rising, a way that you can farm resources while you're doing other things in your castle. So I would first off, just to start off this auto farm thing, I would not recommend doing this and like leaving your castle and going to do other stuff as uh, as the auto farm happens, the items will drop and they might disappear on the ground. So this is something more to do while you're doing other things in your castle. I like to do this when I come back, I'm gonna depot and everything, I'll get the auto farm going and I'll go depot if I'm working on like expanding my castle or doing other stuff crafting things uh, or just you no know, let it run for a couple minutes as I depot and kind of get situated and go back collect the goods stop it and, and leave right so this is what you want to do because Stunluck has done an amazing job of making using the vermin nests and the tombs really useful so what I like to do in off hours of raid uh, and obviously these these servants will be in a different spot but in off hours of raid I'll keep a servant or two you know depending on what not uh, back and I'll use them to farm uh, these mobs while I'm gone. The resources and rewards of farming here is really good. So for those who don't know, auto farm means I'm going to set up my servants here to kill the things I summon between the vermin nest and the tomb to make it so I don't have to really do it myself. And I'll let my servants kind of take care of things as I go and do other stuff. Now, you don't really need to gear your servants. Now, you can see, you know, my servant here is pretty kitted. You know, they're up to, you know, level 79 so they can for sure i can get everything going at once and this one servant could take care of everything um but i've also have done like all my tombs going and i've had two naked servants just clear it for me like they really don't need that much power as long as you just like stagger uh the, like the spawn so i'll start the vermin nest do the time on that and then you know, maybe do like the banshees which takes a few minutes it takes like seven minutes or something on this server to pop up so uh that is why you know just gotta keep that in mind as you figure out the balance but overall yeah uh, the big things you want to focus on with the auto farm is just figuring out what resources you can spend, what you can get out of it. What are you looking for? Um, now for us, a big thing that we want to do oftentimes um, is we haven't done silk runs, like ever. Uh, we went to the spider cave, got silkworms to kill the spider boss, and since then, uh, we had just spawned the spiderlings. Uh, it takes fish bone, which you just sit on a bunch of... Uh, and then mutant grease. Mutant grease is really easy for us to go. We'll go to the way gate and then I'll just run along all these pools here. And there will be the gloom rot like human mobs and the mutants will fight all the time. And I can just pick up especially like here and here. There will just be mutant grease all over the ground that I can just go do a quick loop. Pick up like 500 or something mutant grease. And our drops will vary because we're on two times uh, loot. But you can just grab, grab a bunch of mutant grease, hit the K passage, and then our K passage um, uh, takes us right here, and then our base is right here. So that's a really easy run for us. So we know we can do that one easy and just get spiralings going. And I'll you know, just go and you know, pop some mutant grease and let the mobs kill the spiralings, grab a bunch of silk, and then I don't have to go do silk runs. Uh, it just saves us a lot of time. So these are things that you can do that just save you time so you don't actually have to go and farm stuff yourself like i have probably saved myself just from going up there going through the spire cave getting silkworms leaving going back like i probably saved myself a few hours of grinding silk uh silkworms just by doing this right and i honestly get more when i do a silk run i'll get you know some silkworm but like this so much more so here you can see i'm just doing other things in my castle and i'm gonna teleport down and i go and i check my mobs are fighting them i just for the sake of time because i'm like in a rush, I just go help clear the mobs real fast. But honestly, my servants could easily handle this on their own. And I'll go pick up the silkworms and then I'll go back and do my other things in the castle. And when I'm ready, I'll uh, stop all this and, you know, go out and do my own thing. But this is just easy silkworms. I'm already doing other things and just saving myself time. And now if you need more mutant grease, the one before that, if you go and get sludge filled canisters and grave dust, you get the mutated rats and those drop mutant grease, which then fuels this one. Um, and so again, same thing. Um, yeah, and then you can get the do the mosquito if you're just looking to just get like a pop this in real fast and get like a blood off of that if you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, the putrid rat is the, a boss. And then if you want, you can use the giant rat to get seeds. If you're starting off, I would just recommend trying to farm some giant rats, get seeds, because a lot of these, as you can see, will use like a flower, uh, especially in the tomb. They're almost all flower based blood rose, morning lily, and then gem dust plus flower so we have i'll kind of not gonna go away but we have a farm like a fl uh, a garden over here that we just farm farm like farm the flowers and then i go and i'll pop a bunch of morning lily here and just you know we can spread it out too well i'll go pop some in all of these 
and then I'll go do stuff in my castle, and I'll come back every, you know, I'll go do something, kind of come back, pick up, go do something, and all the while, I'll be getting a bunch of bone and, um, and grave dust. So there's a chance for grave dust and bones. You know, we can do higher that yields grave dust plus a chance of scourge stone and spectral dust, right? So you can go higher with it too, as you can see we've done. And we can just do that while we're doing stuff. So I haven't gone and actually farmed bones or grave dust, silk. Um, I, I haven't farmed any of that since getting this going. It's uh, It's been a few days now that I've just purely been making skirt stone and everything else I need those things with uh, just off this. And that has saved me hours of just running around, you know, Going up to Church of the Dam, going over the Dunley Monastery, you now going up to the Spider. There's just hours of running around when I, I'm you know, working on my castle, crafting things. Maybe just honestly just wanted to chill for a few minutes. I'll get this going. And yeah, and then yeah, you just set up like this. Let the let the homies go at it. Uh, you know, Carline will go and start killing things. If you need to, sometimes you might have to go have another servant here and go just help them clean up so they can heal. But yeah, like overall, it's like super easy. Super, super easy. I highly recommend doing another farm like this. Also, save you so many hours just getting like mundane resources that you don't really want to go out and grind for, and it just happens, you know, on its own. You just set it up and just leave it for a bit. Come back, grab your loot, and keep doing your stuff. And then when you head out your castle for an actual run, just pause it so you're not missing any drops. So yeah, highly recommend this. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas for what you think of the good resources of farm again, it's really just depending on what flowers and stuff you have and what you need. But this has saved me hours of farming. So I highly recommend you know, checking into this and seeing if this is something you're interested in. Let me know what you go for and hope this video helps and offers some ideas. Take care.